Look outside as we look ahead now to this weekend. There's a voter education event happening in Houston. Plans to look and feel a lot more like a party. We're talking food, music, fun, and games, but this party definitely has a political purpose. For more on that, I want to bring in Jeremy Class with Black Book Houston and Tatiana Mott with Our Power Media. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I want to ask you first, Tatiana, tell me more about what's behind this event designed to be both informative and fun. Yes, so this will first and foremost be a block party. So it'll definitely be fun for the community, family friendly, um, but it'll also be a voter registration drive. So we'll have county, the county clerk's office will be there to help get people registered and to also answer some questions anyone may have. There's gonna be a lot of interactive things to do as well. Jeremy, being with the Black Business Book, you've got a real pulse in the community. How would you describe the way that voters are feeling right now about the election, integrity, the democratic process, and November 5th, Election Day? Well, for us, you know, Black Book Houston, we're the largest black business directory in Houston, so we talk to a lot of different business owners on a daily basis just to kind of get an idea of where they are. Uh, we see each other as a vital resource for economic empowerment in our community. And one of the things that we speak with, you know, the businesses on our platform, we know that voting directly impacts policies that affects their business. So from local tax laws to federal economic recovery programs, business owners and their customers, um, they, they're going to be fully engaged in this process. They want to be fully engaged in this process. And uh, we just want to make sure that we're doing our part to ensure that we're getting not only businesses, but people registered to vote because it directly impacts, you know, uh, underserved minority owned businesses. And Tatiana, I want to ask you a little bit about timing because we know right now there's a lot going on in terms of voter registration, who's allowed to vote, uh, conspiracy theories, and mis uh, misinformation, I should say, out there. So why is it really important to get the community together in this moment? Yes, yeah, so recently, you know, with the passing of Senate Bill 1, there have been over a million voters who've been removed from the, the registration rolls. Um, and so this is a time where we really need to double check, you know, check with the, the um, check online to make sure that you are still registered for folks like me who are transplants who moved you know make sure that you are still registered um and it's more important than ever because as you know that texas and the united states in general has a history of voter suppression and you never really know what ways in which they're trying to do it texas you cannot vote uh, cannot register online so there's little things like that that people may not know and they may wait until the last minute and find out that oh it's too late for me to register how do i you know how do i get this done so it's very important to come to events like this and just overall research um, what it is what the process is yeah and jeremy i want to ask give us a little bit of a preview how are you planning to really drive home the message about voting and power and not just the elections that have a president at the top of the ticket even local down ballot races as well absolutely um we know that presidential elections get a lot of attention it's the state and local elections that often have the most direct impact on our day-to-day -day lives so everything from public school funding to criminal justice reform um, that's why it's important that we need to, you know, turn out for every election, not just those presidential elections, but make sure that we're getting engaged in our local elections, um, not the ones that just grab national headlines, right? So, you know, some of these representatives will be present at the block party, and uh, there will be opportunities for guests to pitch policy ideas directly to uh, the people that uh, will be serving them, ultimately. Excellent. We've got the details on the screen right now, so I want to make sure everyone knows this event is happening Saturday, September 7th, starts at 11 and runs through 4 o'clock that afternoon at the Community Collective on South Post Oak. Jeremy, Tatiana, thank you so much for the work that you're doing in the community and for your time this morning. Thank, thank you. For having us. All right. I want to give you guys a live look outside on this.